Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing? Let me get everything together so I can actually see who's on here this morning. Hope you're doing well. And uh, let me get you to where I need to be to see you guys. I hope you're doing great. And I don't know what's going on with the verse, but it is Proverbs 22, uh, 1 is the verse. Good morning, Miss Allison. I hope you're doing well. Proverbs 22, 1 is the verse that we're dealing with. So, Proverbs 22, 1. Good morning, Clifford. Yep, what a beautiful day, wonderful weekend. I hope you had a great Easter, Easter weekend, lots of things happening. So here's a verse, Proverbs 22, 1 says this, it says, choose, good morning, Hattie, good morning, mom, choose a good reputation over great riches, being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. So as I was thinking about this this morning, this passage of scripture is, is very interesting. So choose a good reputation over great riches. So I think this is very important today because many people believe, and may, here's the deal. A lot of people say, you know, we need lots of money, we need to get all this stuff, but, and they'll even put their integrity, their, their reputation on the line to get more uh, money. They'll, they'll do um, questionable things to, to get more stuff, more money. It's good reputation is, is very important. It's your character. You know, um... I always, you know, in my life, there's three things, four, maybe four things that, you know, I will, I will fight for. My, my God, my integrity, my family, and my girls. You know, and, and, and I will stand up for those. And I, I'll stand up for my church. But the, the thing is, Man, um, uh, there was there was a time that um, I was in a church, and um, I resigned my position as youth pastor. And as soon as I got done resigning, the church, the pastor got up and says the reason why I was resigning was because uh, it was the money, and that wasn't the reason why I resigned the church. It was because I was asked to resign because of the. They couldn't afford me or fix the church, the the van engine, and I caught him at the end of the church, and I says, "Pastor, that what you know the truth, but you just made it look like I was a money grubber, and that was not the truth." And so I says, "You, I, I am not going to accept what you just said. You just put my integrity into question. When we, we." When we don't have good reputation is so important, and and then there was one time that uh, I, someone says, "Well, I heard you when someone tells you in something in confidence, you let it out." There is something when someone says something in confidence that, like in a counseling situation, that is a confidentiality. I will never let that out. And, and so when someone says, "Well, I heard that you did this," I that is, that is something that's questioning my integrity. That is something that is so important to me that it will not happen. And so if they heard that I did that, it didn't come from me. It's, so um, here's the problem. When, when, you, when someone hears something and, it, and they say, well, you did, 
and it's so important to you that they say that you did this and you know it's important to you, you know that you did not do this. And so um, that's so important. The integrity, the reputation is greater than great riches. That's, we have a society that will throw integrity. I'm going to use the word integrity, good reputation. Integrity into the wind to get great riches. And we need to put a higher calling on our good reputation and and our higher calling Instead of great riches. You know, all the money in the world will go away and all that stuff. But what do we have left is our reputation. Our, our reputation in front of everything. I mean, you know, in Malachi it says, your lies will find you out. And so it's so important that we realize that. The second part of the verse is being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. When someone looks at you or someone sees you or because of your good reputation, they just kind of say, oh, you know, you have a good reputation. You are held in high esteem because of how you're, you have a good reputation. You, you have, you've been talked about in a good way. Not in a bad way. They haven't mm-hmm. gossiped about you in such a derogatory way. I When I read this this morning, you know, it comes from Proverbs. And those two um, held in high esteem. And it's, it doesn't, is it based on um, a title? It's based back on your reputation. And so when I begin to think about the ramp, the realm of this passage of scripture, it just makes me think of character, character of a human being, character of a situation. It's it's almost as if you go to a funeral and you know you have the, the date that you were born and the date that you died and that dash between and what people will say about you and uh, uh, during that, during that, time you know they always say good things about you and I, I remember one quote that says um, don't make a pastor lie about you um, when <laughs> they're telling about you um, live a life that is of high quality of high character and so here's you know when you think about that in your life how are you or I living you know, I I pray that in the long run that I'm living that kind of life. You know, do I do I really try? Yes. Um, I look at my life and I integrity is so important to me, and uh, I'm going to live that way. And I hope you do too. You know, their integrity is a, a byproduct today. It's not uh, seen as that important anymore so, and I and I keep coming back to that why because I feel like good reputation a good uh, good character good I mean some you may think maybe this is not jiving with you but a good character good reputation jives right into that and uh, is over great riches now, when would you would you sell out your good reputation for great riches? I mean, if you could have all the money in the world and not have a great reputation, would you do that? I mean, some people might say, well, then I wouldn't have to worry about what people think. Well, you know, I, I love it when, when young people say, I don't care what people think. But eventually, they really do. They really do think care what people think of them. Because they do, they they think, I, you know, if you have no friends, you're just a, you're all by yourselves. Who cares if you have a whole bunch of money, and you have no friends around you? You're just just a loner and have a bunch of money. That's no fun. 
you know, uh, it's just, it's just weird, <laughs> you know, so as I begin to think about this passage of scripture this morning, just, just think about it. All right, so get out your notebook, read this verse out, Proverbs 22, 1, it was in the New Living Translation this morning, I don't know why it came up with Isaiah on the the board this morning underneath me. I did change it, and it didn't come up as it's supposed to. So, and uh, so here's what it says. Write this verse out. Choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. Proverbs 22.1 in the New Living Translation, write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So we're going to pray. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put that in the comment area, and uh, we'll pray. So uh, let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I thank you, Lord God, for those that are watching now, those that will watch later. I pray that you encourage them. I pray that, Lord, that you just... Uh, Lord, that you do something great. I pray, Lord God, for healing of this land, of the COVID stuff. I pray that, Lord, that you just uh, take, care of, take care of people that are suffering from it, Lord, right now. I pray, Lord, uh, for our government, that, Lord, they'll use godly wisdom in the decisions that are making today. I also pray that, Lord, that you help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. And I pray that, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. Lord, I thank you for today. I pray that you bless, and Lord God, that you use us, and that, Lord God, that we just walk in your presence, Lord. I thank you for that. In your name, amen. Hey, have an awesome, awesome day. Love you guys, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning at 6.30. Have a blessed day. Love you guys.